old Central High School building at Brick Building sits at 5th in Kentucky. You see it here, it's just a bit south of downtown. Still holds very important historical significance that was recognized today by Simmons College of Kentucky. Because history is important. Yes, sir. Because the kids who are learning this history are asking this question repeatedly. Why didn't anyone tell us about this? We're going to tell you your story. But when you think of this building and students in this building, do not think of children. I'm not. Think of adults. Adults. Because in 50 years after slavery, 1865, 1915, the literacy rate for black people advanced from 5% literacy of 4 million formerly enslaved people to 85%, the highest increase of literacy of any people group in American history. Out of this one schoolhouse building, educators were made, pastors were made, and scientists. We got a full education in one building. Simmons College of Kentucky was founded in 1879 by 12 former slaves. And those 12 toiled for days and years to make their dream come true. A name that most people do not recognize in this great city of ours, Elijah P. Mars, whom he and his brothers, two of the 12, that knew to bring in an academician professional, William J. Simmons, to lead the college. They wanted to prepare and train teachers, nurses, leaders, and intellectuals. Very early on, these far-sighted individuals merged with a black medical school and a black law school. In Increasing the size and prestige of the school. From the book, The Life of the Reverend Elisha W. Green, who was one of the founders of this college. He says, when the question of educating the coming generation was proposed, the convention seemed to have caught a new spirit of enthusiasm. We old brethren just out of slavery, many of us not having had the privilege to learn thought it a grand thing to build an educational structure upon which, when we were dead, our children would look with pride and call us blessed. Earlier this year, Simmons College of Kentucky purchased the old Central High School building. Until 1956, it was the only public high school building in the city for African American students. Thursday, administrators and dignitaries from across the state and country helped cut the ribbon on the building. The Ida B. Wells Hall of Simmons College of Kentucky will be returned to its status as a hub for black education in our city. 1879. Simmons College has been molding the next generation of leaders here in Louisville and across the Commonwealth. I am so happy that this historic building will continue to be used. Higher education is what gives our students the ex expertise to excel. The new black teacher education program here at Simmons that will recruit and retain more black teachers. It is the first of its kind. And that's important because for so many of our kids, the first leader they see outside of their home is their teacher. This program is generously funded by Brown Foreman and Young for the next 10 years. Thank you to these corporate sponsors for that event. That we acknowledge the critically important investment and commitment by Reverend Dr. Samuel Tolbert and the National Baptist Convention of America. When I was elected with some 4,000 churches around the United States, some 3.5 million historically African-American Baptists, I ran into Kevin Cotton <laughs> and discovered the history of Simmons College of Kentucky, the comeback college in the United States. Yeah. There was a presentation by the leadership of Simmons College and at that time, the 33-member board of trustees voted unanimous yeah. to move our headquarters to Louisville, Kentucky. And I want you to know all of us were convinced to do that because of that one man, Kevin Powell. I want to tell you, as someone who's been in higher education now for almost 40 years, 
is as powerful as any vision that I've seen. I'm dedicated to help you all get there. I'm dedicated in such a manner that we will put whatever resources we can find to help make that happen. I want to thank the legislature, the governor's office, and all of those who were able to see the vision of Simmons. Yes, as an HBCU, yes, as a way to serve West Louisville, we, it goes way beyond that because you've got a role to play. And that role is far bigger than anything your president or I can even think about. We're talking about the dedication of a building today. But tomorrow, we're talking about health care related pathways coming out of this thing. That's right. The point is simple. You have a huge responsibility and accountability, and you will often be the one of only in many rooms. It's okay. Wear it proud. You came from an HBCU. That's right.